Hello and welcome to a very sunny edition of Bondi Snapshot. Is summer finally here? We've had some pretty odd moments of weather over the last few weeks. I think it was only 12 degrees last week one day. And this is November, it's crazy, isn't it? Hopefully the sun is here, the surf lifesavers are out. We're here at the North Bondi Surf Club. So what a cracker of a week. We had a brilliant start with an auction at 12 Stephen Street. Amazing, with something like 13 registered bidders. In the end, there was a very strong opening bid, which was actually above of the reserve, which is usually unheard of, but it was a great result, $375,000 above reserve. Very happy vendor, had been in the family for over 80 years. And the interesting thing as the winning bid had just sold their property at number 12 Ruthven Street. Their bidding number was number 12 and they bought number 12. So it's a really special story. So that added another great tally to our sales total, which we smashed 500 last week. Now, the funny thing is, I actually thought we had just smashed last year's total of 503. In actual fact, last year was only 484. It was the year before we had 503. We're now closing in on 520 and there's still a month of selling to go. Wow, could we even crack 550? That would be interesting. We've had a mixture of off markets and on markets this week. Alex has been blitzing Bronte Road with a range of property sales there and still a couple more on the market. That's been pretty exciting. We had a fantastic off market in Ben Buckler. We'd sold one just before COVID in the building at 140 Hastings Parade for 1663, I think it was 1666. And we just had one that we showed one buyer through off market and it just sold with no views for 1.71 million for a two bedroom apartment. Pretty strong prices that are still holding up. The apartment market showing a few signs of weaknesses, but good properties are still doing quite well. Another one that went in a very quick space of time was five of 130 Kalua Street. Great one better, balcony, parking, tick, 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 close to the beach. And that sold $30,000 above vendor expectations at 880,000 for a one bedroom unit. We've got some great properties coming up. A great two bedroom, two bathroom in Bennett Street, which is gonna be a great either downsizers, investor, two bedroom, two bathroom. It's got a nice little garden apartment. Also eight of 17 Penkable Street is a very affordable two bedroom apartment that has a price guide of 780. It's probably going to sell just into the eights. Jason's got a great three bedroom, two bathroom semi at Clyde Street in Bondi, three Clyde Street. That's got a 3.7 guide. Beautiful designer house with pool at two Ashley Street, Tamarama. That's going to have a price guide of 4.2. Five Banara, very popular street in Bondi, which is a three bedroom, two bathroom, two parking semi, 3.3 three to 3.5 guide. Now onto the rental side of the property market. There has been quite a lot more on the market, about 30% more uh, supply according to our property managers. So properties are getting a little bit harder to lease out. Um, it's interesting, Katrina's got a great tale of properties renovated versus just looked after. We had one that was beautifully brand new renovated in McPherson Street on the Ramwick side of the street, which is not normally the most popular. And that uh, was on the market for one day and leased out at $780 per week. It originally had an ask price of $750, two bedroom parking. On the other side of the street, the Waverley side, which is usually the more popular, it was still nicely done, but it was just tidy and neat and modern. And that rented out for $630 and it took 10 days to rent out. So there's a big difference in how properties are prepared. Presentation, as we know, in the sales market, but also in the property management side is everything. So it's interesting, we're finding that because we've got a lack of students and a lack of tourists and that hospitality staff, a lot of people have gone back overseas, there are some good bargains to be had. So we're having a lot of people who are looking to upsize their rental properties, but also it's a good chance for people coming in into the area from outside because Bondi and the eastern suburbs is now looking very affordable for rentals. So guess what? It's the second week of November and realistically, we're getting into the last week or two of listing and selling before Christmas. Christmas. We are starting to focus on getting properties ready for January. As always, PPD are back on deck for the first week of Jan. So please, if you're thinking about 2021, as opposed to 2020, which has been a tough year for all, give us a call and let's have a chat about positive, hopeful 2021.